New at 5.30, we continue to track the recovery from Sandy's impact six months later. A popular natural attraction damaged by Superstorm Sandy opens ahead of schedule. Some residents we spoke to say Satuous Point is their favorite place to visit in the state and are happy it's back open. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in the newsroom now with a story new at 5.30. The wrath of Hurricane Sandy shut it down for six months, but finally the Satuous Point Wildlife Refuge is back open again. I traveled down to talk to visitors who say they're thrilled to be back in the wild. In the summer, they have the monarch butterflies. Stunning. Losing her husband to cancer in January was extremely difficult for Portsmouth's Ann Libby. To cope with the loss, she's turned to nature photography. Knowing that my husband wanted me to do this, just makes it great. The Satuous Point Wildlife Refuge is one of Libby's favorite photo hotspots, but she hasn't been there since October because of Superstorm Sandy. I was here the day before the hurricane, the morning just says it was starting, and saw the roughness of the seas, and I was so discouraged when it was just a disaster. Since then, Libby and others have been clamoring to return to the refuge. This is a place for the people. Visitor Services Manager Janice Nepchinski says repairing the sandy damage has been challenging due to a combination of factors. Safety of the trails, because they were right on the drop-off, and we couldn't get people um, on the road, and that was a concern for emergency vehicles. But with the help of federal grants and the hard work of volunteers, the refuge has opened early, and that's great news for visitors like Libby. I just love the nature, and I'm just looking forward to it. I'm surprised there's a lot of cars here already. It's so fantastic. Wait till the summer. It is going to be, it's so crowded. This is such a vocal point for lots and lots of people. One of the final pieces of the puzzle, opening the Refuge Visitor Center. That's set for Saturday. In the newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.